Hey, got a quick one for you today in Vegas Pro 18. We're going to talk about squeezing and de-squeezing anamorphic video, and also we're going to talk about uh, just pixel ratio. So this isn't a super complicated topic, but it's often made out to be. So this is a screen grab of a, when I say screen grab, it's really a camera pointing at a TV, which is why there's an off, awful aspect ratio here. And the TV itself is taking what's normally a 4x3 image and has stretched it out. And so it's already kind of warped what the pixel ratio should be. And when I say ratio, I mean like a normal pixel you imagine to be a square, which is like, you know, one by one where the links are the same size. Uh, but if you take all those pixels and you treat them as more like rectangles, you'll stretch them out. You'll stretch the image out. Uh, and so let's talk about how that's typically used. Uh, if you've shot in an anamorphic lens, uh, thanks to premiumbeat.com uh, for this article, I'd totally check it out. Um, but it's not Vegas centric, it's uh, Adobe Premiere centric. Uh, so this is a great example. A lot of times movies will shoot uh, on 35 millimeter film and they'll use a lens that uh, that they'll need to actually stretch out the footage later on. Um, and so if you do that in digital, you can do the same thing with an anamorphic lens uh, and gives you a very specific widescreen cinematic look that people are looking for, but it leaves a squeezed looking video and people call it de-squeezing. So both these things where I'm going to try to one, uh, unstretch this video a little bit, uh, and two, if I, using the same method, you would be able to, I cannot for the life of me get some de-squeezed anamorphic footage is why I put this tutorial off. Uh, so I don't have any footage, but let's just, let's just talk about it. You'll see it's easy to do. So if you had unsqueezed anamorphic footage, you would follow these steps here. So uh, Ocarina of Time, uh, I want to kind of unsqueeze this a little bit. So I can right click this video here and uh, go to properties. And here in the properties, you can go to media and it'll go to pixel aspect ratio. You can change this for your entire project as well. If you go to this uh, gear here, you can change your pixel aspect ratio. Very, uh, if you've got everything in anamorphic, you might want to do that, but I would only do that for your whole project if you know everything uh, needs to be squeezed or de-squeezed. Um, but we're gonna right click this media again, go to properties and in the media tab, uh, pixel ratio, I'm going to go to 0.9091 NTSC DV and that won't fix the problem entirely but it will fix it somewhat so uh while these while these rectangles were really really stretched out uh, on the tv uh now they're just mildly stretched out so the distortion is not as bad there's still distortion um but it's it's i've reduced the distortion if you were trying to unsqueeze anamorphic footage so you wanted to get rid of the distortion of an anamorphic footage like we talked about like this uh, then you would want to change your field order to what's very common uh, anamorphic here, which is a 1.33333. Uh, so that would be what you select. And you may need to, so if you did that, like let's pretend this is anamorphic footage. It is not, but let's pretend it is. Uh, then you could go to this aspect ratio here and see it would crop this aspect ratio to, fix it, uh, to fit it. Uh, and if you needed to do any kind of changing or uh, anything, you could always fix the aspect, aspect ratio in the event pan crop if your squeeze footage doesn't still quite fit your final. Now, um, last note too, it, this is less the case than what I'm doing here, but if you need to change your uh, project to where you actually can render out in that full anamorphic frame style, like this really long frame, you'll need to figure out the pixel ratio you're going for a little bit beyond the scope of the tutorial, but I want to point you in the right direction. You'll need to figure out the pixel ratio you're going for in uh, your project, and you can actually put in the pixel ratio you're going for here. Or uh, you, you also want to make sure that you, when you render as, um, you'll want to make sure in your customized template that you're uh, rendering uh, the right frame size, whether you do a custom frame size or whatever. And so you would make sure you get the codec you want and the customize, go to the customized template to pick the frame size. But that's up to you. 
that's how you would change that. But that is pixel stretching and de-stretching in Vegas Pro 18. Short one for you, but it's one of those things that doesn't come up very often, but when it does, you really need to know. So thanks for watching. Like this video help you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Check out my this, links in the description. That super helps me out a lot. And consider being a patron. It lets me spend time on videos that might not be as searchable, but are more needed uh, and less pop. Uh, popular pop kind of videos, more technical fun videos. So this is a good technical one for you. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.